Hi everyone, Pat Doherty with today's topic, defending as a weapon. The key to great defending is being wise with percentage shot selection decision making. Okay, so to explain that a little bit better, we go back to our graphic here. If you want to defend the court well, you've got to make your recovery distances as short as you can with the time we have to work with. The average rally at the junior level, ball changes ends from racket to racket in about a second and a half. For the pros, it's even tighter than that. It's just 1.1 second. So we don't have a lot of time to cover a lot of court most of the time. So you can see here, we've got three different shot target options, but notice too the three different recovery positions. Let me show you why these offset recovery positions are the way they are. If you were to play that ball down the line, you'd put your opponent in that corner. From there, they can't hurt you any wider than the sideline. But cross court, they've got an angle. So to be in the midpoint, like the center of the soccer goal for the goalie to stand in, you've got to be able to achieve a recovery to here to cover this range here between the yellow lines. It's a long way to go, and the bigger you hit that shot down the line, the less time you're giving yourself to get there. So the percentage shot selection model is about managing time and distance together, okay? When you need extra time to get further distances, you need to adjust how you play the ball. You can't amp it up and expect to achieve that uh, position. So everybody who's going down the line too often, a lot of times is getting burned, unable to defend this corner over here. So you're opening up yourself to uh, a lot of winners and forced conditions for the opponent to achieve on you. So this is why we see these sustained patterns of cross court, because it shifts the other way. If I play at cross court now, I only have to get back to A. Um, it's the shortest recovery trip of all, <clears throat> and makes it easiest for me to get back in time to defend my side. So the key to using defense as a weapon is not giving them any openings and working on your footwork enough and your willingness to run everything down. The defender gets in your head that eventually you start to believe they own every inch of their side of the court and they can defend all of it. So you start hitting your drop shots in the net trying to make them too good so they can't get to them. You start hitting beyond the boundary lines to try to get it out of their reach. You run out of court basically. So remember why we're hitting these patterns cross court. It's to make defending your side more effective and when going to net to defend the net, going down the line gives you the shortest trip to get there. If you go cross court, you've got a further trip to go. It's the lower percentage choice because there's a good chance you'll run out of time getting to position in time and then leave that lane open for attack down the line. So the bigger you go on that cross court shot, the less time you're giving yourself to get there. So again, manage the time and distance well.